So guys, we have a special package here today. As you can tell, it is from RHD, which I think most of you know what this is gonna gonna be. This this is the new stuff for the Red M3 guys. So we have some boxes, we have some items. Let's get this unboxed. Absolutely amazing. No, ah! <laughs> I thought I got you. <laughs> I came in unbox things and not have without being scared, guys. <laughs> So, as you can tell, this is a fully carbon fiber air box, guys. Oh, on the uh, back side, you can see, guys, some fantastically machined butterflies, which there should be. Oh my god, I got hiccups. <laughs> Three sets of two, which are four all six runners guys so this is our new okay so why IT do you say guys and not itb setup i don't know why i say guys everybody says i say guys a lot so why do you guys say all? do i say guys a lot yes i'm assuming i do say guys a lot since uh everybody over here god i got hiccups so bad so guys these are the <laughs> Dang it, I said guys! Apache, go to bed. Eric. These are the trumpets okay. that okay. attach to each throttle body. And okay, I'm trying to calm down. we have all of that. We still got we got a ton of these. These are these are all over the place. I don't even know what's in this. Some more. These are downright amazing. There should be four there. Oh, they won't go back in. So we got that. Oh, God, these hiccups are killing me. You know you're going to have to redo this tomorrow, so just give up. I'll attack your dad. Never mind, guys. I'll see you in the morning. As you just saw, we unboxed the RHD ITB kit. As you can see we have all the parts laid out here um, and we are going to assemble them but before we assemble everything guys which I have to admit I already assembled this whole kit um, for the assembly video for RHD but I had to re uh, disassemble it and lay it all out again guys because I have some things I want to do to it. So as you can see, these are our cast aluminum uh, runners that connect to these go to the throttle body, throttle body goes to the stacks, and then the stacks go to the trumpets. Um, and then those go to the plate, which go to the carbon fiber air box. But these cast uh, manifolds I don't know if you can see guys, they have casting, well this is the uh, mill down, but this is where the mold was when they cast these, so you have molding, um, whatever these are, uh, but they need to be, they, they sanded them down or they milled them down, but they're still not completely flat, and I hate that look, and we are going to drop these off at Wren's to have them powder coated black but before we do that I want to clean up everything like all this here we want to clean up that want to clean up the uh, mounting bases there's just a lot of little casting marks from all of this that we want to clean up like up in here um, so that when we do put them in they're actually completely smooth and they look good um, so, 
What we're gonna do next is take these outside and I have the grinder hooked up. We are going to grind down the rough spots and get everything kind of cleaned up and then we'll uh, bring out the Dremel and we'll Dremel all the little areas up and get everything kind of just smooth and clean so when we do send it over to powder and we're gonna powder coat these black guys so that everything's kind of like a cohesiveness in the engine bay. Um, but gonna jump out there, gonna grind these down and get everything cleaned up. Before we jump outside, I wanted to kind of show you guys uh, this kit and we've already assembled a lot of it. Um, like a lot of this throttle bodies, the end pieces don't come like this. We can, we assemble them. If you guys want to see that, there will be an assembly video on my channel. Um, just it won't be released yet till we get it all edited and finished and and really done well. But guys, as you can see, these are really well made. Tolerances are super, super close. Um, you have all six throttle bodies. The little aluminum. Uh, I think these are 50 mil. Uh, Spacers was what they call them are really well made. They look great and same with the trumpets guys. These trumpets are absolutely amazing um, I was thinking of Either because these are milled and you can tell they have milling marks and stuff, but These I might sand down and polish so these are a high 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 gloss even though they're mounted inside and then inside the air box if we ever do ms3 and we uh delete the map and we remove the air box i want these things to be out there because they literally are super bright super awesome so we might polish these at one point but um just kind of wanted to show you the kit and everything it's Super well made, super together, um, a lot of nice pieces that, um, you know, as you can see are, are really well made and, and well designed. So uh, let's jump outside and let's grind these right now. So we have one done as you can see it's uh, super smooth um, really knocked down so we will uh, hand sand the rest of this uh, to knock a lot of the uh, rest of the stuff off but um, yeah looks a lot better than it did and we'll get it down all the way down for powder. As you can see, we have everything ground down. This is just with the uh, large flapper wheel to get everything ground down, down to what you see it. We're now gonna take the Dremel and sandpaper and sand everything smooth. So we have all three of these. All the little stub ups are gone. All the edges are gone. Now we're going to hand sand and Dremel and get these all smooth so when we powder them they look mirror finish. Okay guys, if you can see me, you saw us grind down, we ground down all the um, old casting uh, pieces on the top. What we're going to do now, hey Apache, come here. Um, what we're gonna do now is we are gonna start cleaning up the inside runners on both sides here. Um, I already started on this side, but we're gonna start working on the um, intake side of everything, clean everything up. It's a little rough and I just wanna clean 
everything up and then once we get all that cleaned up we will jump back to the outside and I'll use the rest of in my pocket um, these little grinding uh, stones to get everything knocked down and then we'll bust out some sandpaper and all that kind of stuff but right now I cannot find my Dremel so I am using the power drill um, it's not gonna get as deep as the Dremel would but it's still going to do what we need it to do for tonight so let's get to knocking a lot of this stuff down and then we'll be right back <laughs> just take the coney one and we are going to get all these little areas to try to rough up um, I mean smooth down all the rough spaces so I'm gonna get to it and let's just clean this stuff up <laughs> everything kind of ground down all the way down we cleaned up all our intake side on all of these got them nice and smooth we didn't go all the way through um, if I can find my Dremel we'll go all the way through but um, we ground down the outside as well now we're gonna hit it with some 220 and actually get all this smoothed down so that it'll look great in powder coat guys so let's get to it get this stuff sanded <laughs> off with the palm sander and then we hand sanded a lot of the small little areas but as you can see we dropped these off at powder on Tuesday had them done in matte black and they look amazing as you can see the finish is great everything looks amazing there's still some issues with the casting and there's some pop marks and some holes but the powder coat tried to fill those as much as he could with powder um, so they're not 100%, but they still look fantastic. They remind me of the S50 stock manifold, so it's kind of a cool look. So I'm thinking the throttle bodies are going to stand out when they're finally installed, guys. But these are done. We are going to reassemble. As you saw in the assembly video, we're going to put everything back together, and then we're going to install. That's going to be another video, guys. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, 
re reworking the website, guys. So the uh, website's down, but we will be back with something a lot better here in a few days, weeks, depending. But thanks for watching. I'll see you next video.